Hi guys. So this is called Just Narwhal. This is a cool book. A lot of the students love to touch this book because it has two-way sequins on it. So you can play with it back and forth. And it's so much fun. And this book is from our good friend Noah. Thank you so much for getting these books for our classroom. It's called Just Narwhal. It says by Laura Ede and Rosie Greening. Narwhal was a whale who thought she had no skills at all. She couldn't cook or knit or sing or even catch a ball. Oh goodness. Fun pictures. Meanwhile, all her mermaid friends were skillful as can be. If they tried out something new, they did it perfectly. Oh man. Wow, thought Narwhal every day, there's nothing they can't do. But I'm just Narwhal and I wish that I had talent too. I wonder. One morning, Star and Coral cried to Narwhal in distress. Our art contest has started, but everything's a mess. Hmm. This says Great Reef Painting Contest. And it the judging is today. Hmm. We need a judge, said Coral, and our time is nearly up. Can you judge our paintings and decide who wins the cup? Hmm, I wonder who's gonna win. Narwhal thought, I'll get it wrong, and quickly shook her head. She told them, I'm just Narwhal. I'll find someone else instead. I wonder who she'll find. She asked Cackle the Clownfish to decide which art should win. The prize goes to the funniest, said Cackle with a grin. That's a funny painting. Narwhal thought, that's not enough to win a special prize, but I'm just Narwhal, so I'll check with someone big and wise. Hmm. Who is big and wise? Let's see. Ooh, look at this big guy right here. She found a big blue whale and asked, which painting is the best? The biggest, shouted Jumbo. Forget about the rest. Hmm. Only the biggest one? I don't know. I'm not sure size is everything, said Narwhal quietly. But since I'm just a Narwhal, I'll make sure Shelly agrees. Who is Shelly? Hmm. Shelly scuttled around the art but judged them selfishly. The shellfish said the winner is the one that features me. So they were picking all the ones that had to do with them. Narwa looked around and thought, these choices don't seem fair. They can't judge one thing alone. There's much to compare. Hmm, let's see. Narwhal swam to join her friends. I've let you down, she cried. You need a fair and honest judge who sees how hard you tried. The mermaid said, if that's the case, then you should judge our art. To us, you're not just Narwhal, and we'd love you to take part. Narwhal gave a nervous smile and said, okay, I'll try. And she wrote a list of qualities to judge the painting by. Narwhal swam around the art and studied each with care. She looked at every brushstroke to make sure she was fair. 
That's good that she was trying to be fair. That's a good idea. At last, she said, each piece of art is special in its way, but one checked every box for me. Star wins first prize today. Star held up the shining cup for everyone to see. Then Coral rushed to Narwhal and she hugged her gratefully. She said, you are the are the finest judge we could have ever found. You're fair and open-minded, the most judge narwhal around. <laughs> the most just narwhal around. <laughs> From that day on, narwhal would judge each contest she could find. And though she couldn't dance or sing, at last, she didn't mind. She thought my skills are hidden. They're not obvious to see, but just like all the paintings, there is so much more to me. And she has a ribbon that says judge of the year. Good job, Narwhal. Sometimes we don't have the same talents as everybody else, and that's okay, because not everybody is perfect at everything that they try They try to do. And Narwhal just kept trying and thinking of what it is that she could do and found out that she was good at something too. See you next time. <laughs>